वेलकम टू सीज द मेन्स बाय राज मल्होत्रा आई एस अकेडमी आम सुरभी सरदाना एंड दिस इज सीजन थ्री ऑफ आर डेली आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव ये इनिशिएटिव हमारी वेबसाइट के साथ काम करता है दिस इनिशिएटिव रन इन कोऑर्डिनेशन विद आर वेबसाइट सो व्हाट यू कैन डू इज आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो आफ्टर दिस डिस्कशन यू कैन राइट योर ओन आंसर इफ यू आर अपियरिंग फॉर मेन्स और यू वॉन्ट टू प्रैक्टिस आंसर राइटिंग फॉर मेन्स अपना आंसर लिखिए और हमारी वेबसाइट पर उसको पोस्ट कीजिए इट इज़ दैट सिंपल एंड आर टीम विल रिवर्ट बैक आर टीम विल रिस्पॉन्ड बैक विद देर फीडबैक इन लेस देन फोर्टी एट आवर्स विद देयर कॉमेंट्स सो इट इज़ अ वेरी सिंपल थिंग टू डू आपको अगर आंसर राइटिंग में प्रॉब्लम होती है आपको नहीं पता लगता है कि कैसे एक अच्छा आंसर फ्रेम किया जाता है तो आपको ये इनिशिएटिव ज़रूर फॉलो करना चाहिए द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज इंडिया बांग्लादेश रिलेशन्स मैं आपको एक बार वेबसाइट दिखा देती हूँ so this is our website raj malhotra is either uh, on the mains answer writing section this is desktop version aap uh, agar if you have your mobile version of website so you will see three lines on the left corner of our website and if you click on that you will see this mains answer writing section and here a lot of questions have been uploaded right answer on one of them or share or share as pictures ya aap uh, type bhi kar sakte hain सो so, कल हमारे YouTube चैनल पर येस्टरडे ऑन आर YouTube चैनल इन इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन करंट अफेयर्स दिस इंडिया बांग्लादेश रिलेशन टॉपिक वॉज डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल बाय मिस निगदा रिगार्डिंग दैट अ क्वेश्चन हैज बीन फ्रेम्ड सी हिस्टोरिकल परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ एनी रिलेशन ऑफ विद एनी कंट्री कोई भी कंट्री के हिस्टोरिकल रिलेशन क्या रहे हैं आपसे डायरेक्टली नहीं पूछा जाएगा यू पी एस सी या कोई भी स्टेट सिविल सर्विसेज वेन एवर दे पुट अ क्वेश्चन इन मेन्स दे विल पुट इन परस्पेक्टिव सो दे विल आस्क यू वॉट इज द वे फॉरवर्ड हाउ हैव रिलेशन हाउ हैज दिस रिलेशनशिप इवॉल्ड ओवर टाइम या आपसे एक पर्टिकुलर आस्पेक्ट पूछ लेंगे रिलेशनशिप का इकोनॉमिक रिलेशनशिप बताइए या यू नो वॉट इज द काइंड ऑफ वॉट इज द फ्लेवर ऑफ द बायोलेट्रल टाइज दैट दीज टू कंट्रीज शेयर एंड देर आर वेरी फ्यू कंट्रीज विद विच इंडिया हैज अ टोटली पॉजिटिव रिलेशनशिप एंड बांग्लादेश ऑब्वियसली इज वन ऑफ दैम बिकॉज वी हेल्प दैम वी फॉर द लिबरेशन वॉर विद दैम सो द क्वेश्चन इज दैट इट विल नॉट आस्क यू फॉर सोल्यूशन बट इट विल से दैट येस एवरी थिंग इज ओके वी हैव फ्रेंडली रिलेशन बांग्लादेश इज अ वेरी गुड कंट्री इट हैज फ्रेंडली फ्रेंडली रिलेशन विद अस बट कुछ इशूज तो सबके साथ होते हैं सो हाउ टू टैकल दोज इशूज कॉमेंट ऑन दैट सो इट्स टाइम फॉर इंडिया एंड बांग्लादेश टू डीपन देयर टाइज बाई सॉल्विंग लॉन्ग पेंडिंग इशूज सो देर आर सम इशूज विच इवन आफ्टर यू नो फिफ्टी ईयर्स इवन सिंस नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन दे कुड नॉट बी सॉल्व ऐसे इशूज हैं इंडिया और बांग्लादेश के भी जो कि सॉल्व नहीं हो पाए कॉमेंट सो इट इज द राइट टाइम कि जो इंडिया और बांग्लादेश के टाइज हैं वॉट एवर कॉन्वर्सेशन वी आर हैपनिंग वॉट एवर कॉन्फ्रेंसिस आर गोइंग ऑन दैट वी शुड यूज सच प्लेटफॉर्म्स टू सॉल्व द लॉन्ग पेंडिंग इशूज एंड नॉट वेस्ट टाइम ऑन दैम सो कॉमेंट आंसर इट इज सो यू जस्ट डू नॉट हैव टू लिस्ट डाउन द इशूज यू ऑल्सो हैव टू यूज योर इंट्रोडक्शन एंड कंक्लूजन पैराग्राफ्स टू गिव योर व्यू पॉइंट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द इशूज वॉट आर द इशूज बट यू हैव टू गिव अ व्यू पॉइंट एंड वेन एवर वी गिव अ व्यू पॉइंट वी ऑलवेज स्टार्ट आर आंसर विद अ पॉजिटिव आउटलुक एंड वी ऑल्सो एंड आर आंसर ऑन अ पॉजिटिव आउटलुक आपके जो आंसर की फर्स्ट लाइन है और जो लास्ट लाइन है इट शुड नेवर बी नेगेटिव बिकॉज दैट सेंस अ नेगेटिव इमेज ऑफ यू एज एन एस्पेरेंट और एज एन एस्पायरिंग ब्यूरोक्रैट सो इन द इंट्रोडक्शन we can talk about some historical perspective i have seen a lot of answers jisme historical perspective bahut detail mein share kiya gaya hai first thing you should remember is that this answer has to be in 150 words only so if you think that sharing the historical perspective is important yes it is important but it is not the entirely important thing to aapko 150 words mein hi apne answer ko samitna hai sare apna jo bhi aap jante hain jo bhi aap likhna chahte hain aapko 150 words ke andar hi likhna hai so either in the introduction in the two three lines talk about the relationship that we have with bangladesh then say that despite of all these good things there are problems existing between all countries and similar Similar is the case with Bangladesh. Then briefly talk about these issues and then conclude your answer that what is the way forward. And this will create a comment. Comment एक line का नहीं दो line का नहीं but the entire framework that you set up for your answer will be an apt answer for the comment directive. So India has shared cordial relations with Bangladesh ever since its liberation in 1971. 
also the last decade or so the, especially the previous decade has increased our trade partnership hamare trade relations acche ho gaye hain especially because bangladesh as a country individually has developed its hdi score is even more than india so when a country develops when somebody you know grows in his or her life or anything and that person is your friend so you also benefit out of it similarly is the case for countries bangladesh ne individually bhi bahut grow kiya hai with or without the help of india that's why it has benefited us so also the last decade or so has indeed been the best period in the relations between the two countries in the last 50 years after the liberation there was political turmoil for some time in bangladesh there was a lot of radicalism political leaders were killed but the last uh, one decade has been more or less peaceful and uh, regular conversations conferences have happened and most decisions have been taken amicably so bangladesh is now central to india's neighborhood first policy so idhar humne india ka perspective de diya we've told why it is important for india so we've given india's perspective it uh, perspective it remains an oasis of political and economic stability this is what i was talking about political and economic stability is very good it is very important and agar aapke kisi ke sath friendly friendly relations hai if you have friendly relations with any country and that country is politically and economically stable then your trade will increase your manufacturing will increase your industrial base will increase your people will be happier people to people contact will be strengthened so that friendship is a positive friendship though uh, stress factors generated by covid-19 pandemic and the war they have led to inflation so you're talking about the current times that current times are not that stable because there is a war going on uh, in uh, you know ukraine and covid-19 pandemic se abhi nikle hain so some imbalances have occurred but mostly it has been a stable relationship here in the introduction paragraph aap likh sakte hain kya ties rahe hain whatever agreements the seven agreements if you want to talk about the recent kushiara river agreement if you want to talk about or you know uh, people to people contact that we are training military officers or civil servants of bangladesh you can write about it here itself aap apne introduction ko thoda sa extend kijiye and write it uh, write about that uh, that part here only then talk about that um, after giving all the positive picture talk about that despite of strong ties between the two nations some issues still remain so some issues still remain you can list down these issues see ye jo hai issues these are six in number that we have shortlisted for you so six issues hai but you do not have to write down long paragraphs for each issue ya to aap ek ek line devote kijiye ek ek issue ko represent karne ke liye that these are the issues or use a diagram like this write about these issues here itself use this diagram not just for the headlines but ek line ka text bhi add kar sakte hain make a bigger diagram and represent it in that form so that it becomes easy for the examiner to read also another would be this one write about each heading here on these types of diagrams so the first one is the obvious issue of tista water sharing agreement and uh, water sharing uh, you know river water sharing west bengal is a part of it west bengal ka bahut sara jo economy hai tista water pe depend karta hai they say that here is some data again if you can remember well and good if you cannot remember just plainly write that tista water sharing agreement has not materialized it has not been finalized 25% water of tista still remains unused and that has to be finalized one of the previous videos we discussed in the kushiara river uh, uh, agreement that we talked about we discussed that whenever monsoons are there and flooding is there india gives a lot of water to bangladesh which causes floods and whenever there is water deficiency for example in the lean periods then we do not open our flood gates of dams and that creates a problem for the bangladeshi population that depends on these waters so for west bengal tista is important to sustain its impoverished farming districts which comprise almost 13% of its population these are poor districts and they depend on agriculture canals be available nahi hai in districts ke paas 
and for bangladesh tista's flood plain plains cover about 14% of the to total cropped area so dono countries ke farming communities ke liye tista water is very tista waters are very important and that's why this water sharing agreement this has to be materialized this has to be finalized we have to reach a final conclusion so this is a long pending issue first second is border management and illegal migration whether it is illegal migration of livestock you know livestock ta being taken from indian side to bangladeshi side or it is the migration illegal migration of people or smuggling that happens across these borders india does not have a proper fencing with bangladesh border we have porous borders not just with bangladesh but with nepal also and see since there are a lot of rivers that flow from india to bangladesh bahut sari rivers jaati hai and it is not possible to fence the rivers so what you can say is that ek village hai jiske sath river lagti hai that village falls in india while the next village if you go downstream that falls in bangladesh you can put a fence on the land but aap water pe kaise fence lagayenge when a, a river is flowing so we have porous borders which leads to illegal migration implementation of a uh, national register of citizens see nrc exercise when it was being carried out in its full form earlier bangladesh could see a lot of migrants uh, going from these porous borders and bangladeshi uh, political authorities they raised a concern that uh, they were not in favor of nrc that was happening in india because a lot of people could not attain citizenship uh, out of that nrc register that was created and then they migrated to bangladesh and if nrc Uh, you know is implemented in its full fledged form then this problem of migrants will definitely rise in bangladesh so that's why it is a problem for them so this is something we need to you know solve on the table itself first that what will be the impact of any activity that we carry out here what will be the impact on a country like bangladesh and why is it important i want you to look at the fifth point first China is very keen on developing friendly ties with Bangladesh. China wants to establish its control over the Indian Ocean through the string of pearls. Chittagong was a port that was uh, talked about for the past so many years as part of string of pearls. So Chinese inroads into the neighborhood if we do not if we cannot secure friendly ties with Bangladesh agar hum unka dhyan nahi rakhte if we do not look at their interests if we do not take care of that that China then China will take use of this opportunity so uh, chinese inroads into the neighborhood have been a cause of worry for india because china has been actively pursuing bilateral ties with bangladesh bangladesh also approached china for a mega project to enhance tista river water flow because smaller countries or poorer countries they want funding from bigger countries funding or in the form of loans ki aap infrastructure ki hame help kar dijiye aap aake ek dam construct kar dijiye and let that be on loan for the next 99 years or 100 years so bangladesh also requires china support in resolving the rohingya refugee crisis if you have heard about bhashan char island so bangladesh is the second biggest arms market for china after pakistan so these are the important things that we already have another neighbor or northern neighbor who's trying to establish close ties with bangladesh then we have the trade deficit also despite the increase in indian exports to bangladesh the desired target for products exported from bangladesh has not yet been achieved and it creates problems for local manufacturers then the sixth part is the most important that tackling the rise of radicalism a lot of times hindu idols are being the get destroyed or somebody from a particular religious community that is a minority in bangladesh but of a majority status in india they suffer they are vindicated they suffer a lot of violence at the hand of ra radical elements or radical uh, due to radicalism so that has to be sorted because see for asian countries apart from china religion is of very much importance especially for a country like india where we have so many religions people recognize themselves with their religions un logon ki bahut zyada identity apne religion ke around shaped hoti hai apni religious rituals ke around shaped hoti hai so whenever a wrong incident happens with a particular person due to the religion they are following or due to a religious practice they are carrying it becomes a no no situation it causes a uh, you know it 
causes a kind of chaos in the bilateral relations the two countries share. So, that is of prime importance tackling the rise of radicalism. It is important from security point of view also because northeast ke liye jo hamare paas corridor hai, Siliguri corridor that is very, you know, bohat hi thin hai. So, Bangladesh is important for reaching northeast also through the sea or through land and security point of view also because anything that happens in Bangladesh will go to northeastern states and uh, secondly to maintain trust between both the nations for to say. So, these are the main issues, these are the long pending issues that India and Bangladesh need to deal with. Recently, the seventh meeting was held. So, this is written as the conclusion but you can break down it into, it into two, two paragraphs if you want. So, in the conclusion, you can talk about the positive recent developments that have taken place in one to two lines. Then you can conclude by saying that yes, you know, there are problems in both the countries. There are, you know, issues which have been long pending. But the good part is that it has not affected our relations much. India-Bangladesh relations have been handled with a lot of maturity by political leaders of both the countries, by bureaucrats of both the countries. And this is a... This stands as an example and whatever issues are there, we need to have a way forward to sort them out whether through international forums or the bilateral talks that are held. In international forums, I have seen that uh, it is there in the model answer also. You can talk about BIMSTEC, you can talk about SARC. Koi bhi aise organization jis mein India aur Bangladesh dono involved hain, koi bhi regional organization ke baare mein jis ke baare mein aapko pata hai. So, those forums can be utilized to enhance the relationship between India and Bangladesh and ek achha solution nikalne ke liye. Otherwise, bilateral, bilateral talks are the way to go. The conclusion of the seventh round of India-Bangladesh joint consultative, commi uh, com consultative commission led to the expansion in India-Bangladesh partnership by including all these new things. AI has been included, fintech, cyber security, startups and connectivity. Connectivity is very important uh, for, uh, you know, India-Bangladesh relations because you can road connect connectivity establish road connectivity. Already some trains are running, metri is running, they, some buses are also running, they run on a weekly basis. So, you can talk about them but not a lot of facts. Comment answer hai, to apne facts aur apne viewpoint ko balance karke chaliye, thoda viewpoint zyada rakhiye. Bangladesh is India's sixth largest trade uh, partner with bilateral trade of around dollar 10.8 billion in 2020 to 21. This is expected to rise after signing of SEPA. This is agreement in 2026 Bangladesh will lose rights uh, of free trade agreement with India. Bangladesh is entering as a developing country. It is not an underdeveloped country anymore. So, 2026 may it will become a developing country and free trade uh, jo India ke saath hota hai, that will not be possible. So, this agreement it is very important for Bangladesh. Even with the friendliest of neighbors, this you can have as your final paragraph. Uh, even with the friendliest of neighbors, uh, there are always areas of disagreement. It is a sign of the mature leadership in both the countries that these differences have not been allowed to upset the broad positive trend in the relationship. So, this is how you end your answer on a very neutral vote uh, note and a very appreciative note. So, this is your whole answer for today. The entire answer is available on our website. Check it out, read it out and frame your own answer, post it on the website as soon as possible. The question for tomorrow is question 61. What do you understand by environmental ethics? Put a light on the development versus environmental ethics debate using suitable examples and answer this in 150 words. This is a question from ethics point of view. Environment or development ka jo debate hai, wo hi old hai. Again, if you are finding it hard to find some content regarding this, you can refer to our weekly current affairs playlist of Friday in the Society Ethics and Internal Security Lecture. This topic has been taken in detail by Mr. Amanjot. Refer to that lecture and then try to frame your own answer. Post this one also on the website as soon as possible and get it evaluated by us. I'll see you tomorrow again at 9 p.m. with the discussion on answer 61. Take care and all the best.